Let you all open all your three eyes. Om Nityananda Paramashivoham Under the guidance of Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam. Let's start with the Sadguru Vandanam. Nityanandam Paramasukanam Kevalam Jnanam Urtim Dvandvatitam Gaganasadusham Tattamasya Dilakshyam Ekam Nityam Vimalamachalam Sarvadi Sakshibhutam Let's go through the disclaimers. Security measures. No photography, video, audio, recording. Important cautions. Please be aware of the important cautions. What is spa manifestation? Let's hear from Bhagwan himself explaining what is spa manifestation. All the 25 states of consciousness, when they happen in you due to your chemicals and hormones, ups and downs, it is powerlessness. When it happens in you out of your free will and consciousness, it is powerfulness, that's all. When you fall into sleep, it is powerlessness. When you enter into sleep, it is powerfulness. When you fall into dream, it is powerlessness. When you decide to dream, it is powerfulness. So I have added the ultimate powerfulness Turiyatita Turiyatita in your whole being and doing manifest all the powers. Understand, power manifestation is nothing but cognitive shift. It is not work. It is cognitive shift. Understand? It is just cognitive shift. It's not work. Work is a four-letter word. <laughs> Power manifestation is cognitive shift. Playing with life. Playing with being alive. Static matter, dynamic activity, 
strategic existence all this three has no boundary you are one with it you are alive in everything everything listens to you everything decides as you want power manifestation is cognitive shift raising your frequency not work now let's understand who is parameshiva bhagwan himself has beautifully explained the parameshiva in all of us parameshiva does manifestation maintenance rejuvenation pulling out of delusion and liberation he resides in his supreme parama shiva swarupa as ajomuha aradomuka anban beyond form formlessness his parama shiva swarupa that parama shiva swarupa manifests with this five faces as sada shiva tatpurusha vamadeva ahora satyojata ishana five faces he manifests and does the panchakritya srishti manifestation stiti sustenance samhara rejuvenation trobava pulling out of delusion anugraha liberation understand he does all these five job through these five faces now listen carefully tatpurusham vamadevam satyojatam ahoram ishanam this five faces das panchakrityas each face each dimension is not just one f a c e face p h a s e face it's not just f a c e p h a s c -E. understand the creation not just creation getting created even sustenance need to be created destruction need to be created and pulling out of delusion need to be created liberation need to be created then create creation manifestation need to be maintained maintenance stiti itself need to be maintained destruction samhara the rejuvenation need to be sustained maintained when it is happening pulling out of delusion through bhava need to be maintained when it is happening and anugraha liberation need to be maintained when it is happening those micro milliseconds when it is happening so understand satyojata murti as five phase ishana murti as five phase vamadeva murti as five phase agora murti as five phase tatpurusha murti as five phase so tatpurusha murti as is five phase agora murti has is five phase 
Vamadeva Murti has his five face. Satyojata Murti has his five face. Ishana Murti has his five face. All these five Murtis, five five faces put together is twenty five faces of Mahasada Shiva. Bhagwan beautifully explain Parameshiva. Now, who is his divine holiness? Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshivam. Let's hear from Bhagwan himself. Supreme Pontiff of Hinduism, Jagatguru Mahasanidhanam, His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, is a reviver of Kailasha, the ancient enlightenment civilization, the great cosmic borderless nation, is an avatar from and is a supreme pontiff of Hinduism. His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshivam, has made signs of our manifestation, yoga, temple based university. For humanity, so which in order of Kailasha led by His Divine Holiness, Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam and Nityananda Order of Monks, Nuns, Hindu diasporas are working for global peace to give superconscious breakthrough to humanity. Nityananda Hindu University, world's largest with extended campus in 150 countries, is collecting, organizing, preserving, time capsuling, decoding, spreading, and reviving 20 million source books of Hinduism and 64 sacred arts, science like Ayurveda, music, dance, sculpting, astrology, Vastu and many more. His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam is 293rd Guru Vaha Sannidhanam of Shamala Pita Sarvanya Pita, ancient apex body of Hinduism and present emperor of Surya Vamsa Surangi Swamrajyam. His Divine Holiness Bhagavan Nityananda Parameshwam has survived the worst persecution of multiple assassination attempts on person and character by anti-Hindu elements. Beautifully Bhagwan now explains who is His Divine Holiness Bhagwan Nityananda Parameshivam. Everything is infinitely powerful. You realize your potentiality. You establish yourself in the completion, space of completion. You are God, that's all. All of us are gods. The first experience is that I was able to see everything around me, above me, the whole 360 degree. I realized not only I was able to see, I was able to feel experience the skin of the stone on rock on which I was sitting and the skin of this body both carry me equally in both I exist equally Sanda is a place where the tattvas are taught to you and till it becomes satya, you are supported. Akadas are basically founded by Sadashiva himself. All is ganas, Shiva ganas, exactly the word gana means. In your length, breadth, depth, if you are filled by Shiva, you are Shivagana. All the Shivaganas formed the first Akkada. Later on, much later, Kapilamuni organizes Mahanirvani Akkada. Then, all other Akkadas. Mahamandaleshwar of Mahanirvani Akada, the oldest apex body of Hinduism, I welcome every one of you. Is from original Agamas Yoga Pada, 
the signs very clearly declares sadashiva is very clear manifestation of this powers happen when you experience oneness with sadashiva when you choose your guru the best thing is find a person who is enlightened experience who can play with energy who can directly transmit experience to you and who is in tune with the original shastras the source of the knowledge all the revealed scriptures available about the yoga directly by sadashiva for you to do research study practice question the people who teach the science of our manifestation is a gift to the humanity which is authentic time tested scientific and full proof diksha or the initiation from his divine holiness Nityananda Parameshwar makes the signs directly an experience for the initiates. The experience is directly authenticated by the pramanas. The Shastra pramanas, the eternal, unchangeable truth revealed in the source scriptures, the Veda and Agamas. The Apta pramanas, the experience of the rishis, munis, ganas, nainamars, alvars, and siddhars, who are the authority of Hinduism, who are who have scientists. who time tested and verified the science of our manifestation the atma pramanas are the avatar who land on the planet earth to give a super conscious breakthrough to humanity his divine holiness bhagwan nityananda parameshwaram this millenniums avatar personal experience of our manifestation shakshi pramanas are the experience of the millions of disciples devotees and followers initiated into the science of our manifestation by bhagwan himself pratyaksha pramanas or the scientific studies which can be measured measuring the effect of being in the enlightened state nitinanda jnana bhakti for the power of breath dimension now let's go to the powerful cognition from the bhagavad gita satsang from bhagwan satsang whenever you strongly believe that certain philosophy or principle may be right but will not work for me with this i want to expand on mahadeva's revelation completion with the principles of advaita please understand whenever you strongly believe that certain philosophy or principle may be right but will not work for me that's one of the biggest incompletion you can develop swami ji is right what he talks makes really sense it's very logical it's apt but not for me this fine word but not for me over over whole thing is over it is like a whole night you heard the ramayana next day morning you are asking what way sita is related to rama uncle aunt brother in law sister in law pid complete stupid way of existing that is the way your mind will cheat you your mind cheats you through only one way saying it's all great but not for you 
It's all great, but not for you. Oh God. Then what's the use? Superimposing your SDHD on the Dharma you are practicing, Advaita you are supposed to practice. Superimposing the self doubt, self hatred, self denial. Superimposing the self doubt, self hatred, self denial on Advaita principle is one of the biggest laws. Understand. That's one of the biggest laws. Finding completion with this Advaitic principles. You see, it's almost like a question of whether egg first or chicken first. Whether you will start doing completion and then you will find more completion with the Advaita or you will find completion with Advaita, then start doing completion. First you think, no, 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 let this philosophy prove itself, it is useful for me, then I'll feel complete. Philosophy says, no, 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 let you do first completion, then I'll prove I am useful to you. Who will roll the ball? Somebody has to lay the first egg. Guru is the person who lays the first egg. <laughs> and egg says, come on, let the chicken lay me. And chicken says, no, 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 come on, let the egg, uh, egg be there, I'll come out of it. Who will make the first egg? And you say, no, 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 let the science prove itself useful to me. The science says, no, let this fellow practice me, then I'll prove I'm useful to him. To give confidence that science embodies itself in human being form and inspires you, that form is Guru. To give you the courage, come on, here I am, radiating Advaita, live. It does good for you. It does good for you. Giving you the confidence. See, whenever you are cheated by somebody, the distrust become strong in you. Oh, we should never trust these human beings. Whenever you are loved by somebody, the trust on life and people become strong. I tell you, when Guru loves you, it is equivalent to the whole life, the whole humanity loving you. He just fulfills you from all dimensions. He overflows you. Because he is the embodiment of completion. When he expresses his love, Advaita Satya is demonstrating its love to you. So naturally you will feel complete with Advaita Satya. When he trains you, whole life will train you. And he never distrusts you. He can never distrust, he can never give up. He can never distrust, he can never give up. Understand. Please listen. Even little bit of practice 
will bring trust on the science of completion once you get the trust on science of completion no one can destroy you you are liberated you are liberated having completion with completion itself is liberation having incompletion with completion is death i have few people who go on saying all problems are with me only but i can't do completion what to do now there are people i cannot do completion what to do if you have incompletion with completion who can save you who can do anything completion with this great principle of advaita krishna says in gita swalpam apyasya dharmasya even if little of the science is practiced even if just half an hour is spent in completion process every day you are you won't accumulate incompletions which needs more than half an hour to complete every day how much ever you may think no 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 you don't know swami ji how many incompletions i create if i turn right incompletion left incompletion center incompletion back incompletion below incompletion above incompletion even if you collect no i have few people collecting incompletions like that i call them incompletion collectors incompletion collectors just like a stamp collectors sword collectors there are so many special collectors are there you see people collect stamps and people collect different size type swords i have the hobby of collecting different type of rudrakshas actually i can tell them even as on now the world's best largest rudraksha collection is with me all mukis all sizes size of half a mm to maximum available size on the planet earth guinness size whether it's a one muki or two muki or three muki or 16 muki all size all shape largest variety and largest number collection of rudrakshas actually i wanted to have a beautiful museum here displaying the whole thing for people to have darshan and get inspired we will build and have a museum maybe in tirunamalai we will have a museum just like people have a habit stamp collection coin collection there are some people who collect all types of coins there are some people who collect all types of music instruments like that there are some people who collect all types of incompletions you can't imagine even for this you can get it the incompletion why this plant is not giving flower for last 3 days why this monkey is walking only when i am coming out why this stray dog is turning away from me when i am walking no it's like a incompletion collection wherever they go like a madugari bhiksha they do madugari incompletion bhiksha please please put little incompletion and go how can you go without putting little incompletion
even if you are a great incompletion collector you cannot collect more than half an hour worth of incompletions every day if you spend half an hour your incompletions will be complete beautifully bhagavan says nehaapi kramana kramana shosti pratya vayona vidyate svalpam apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bayat nehaapi kramana shosti ప్రత్యవాయోన విద్యాతే స్వల్పం అప్యస్య ధర్మస్య త్రయదే మహతో భయాత్ ఇట్స్ సో నైస్ దట్ ఈవెన్ ఏబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ బగ సంస్కృత్ డైరెక్ట్లీ యాక్చువల్లీ ఐ లవ్ టు రీడ్ వన్ సర్ ట్వైస్ ఓన్లీ దెన్ ఐ విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు బ్రేక్ ద వర్డ్స్ దెన్ ఐ విల్ బీ ఏబుల్ టు అండర్స్టాండ్ nobody believes when i say that i am not a great sanskrit pandit anyhow that's okay but i can understand i can understand register yourself apyasya dharmasya trayate mahato bhayat just practicing little bit can release you from the great fears and bhagwan has given even little bit could break have a biggest breakthrough in our life even the little trust that we have in the completion process will have a huge breakthrough for us to experience the ultimate let's go to the shastra pramana for this power manifestation power of breath is taken from the shiva sutra sutra 1.19 shakti sandhane sharirot patihi shakti sandhane sharirot patihi by aiming and fixing the self on shakti uniting in oneness with the supreme power the embodiment of that which is cognized and willed manifest at once in its length breadth depth time and space dimension shiva sutra 1.19 beautifully bhagwan explains here how when we are in the space that people cheat us then we stop trusting life same way when people love us so much we love the humanity we trust everybody lot more and when bhagwan himself loves us it's like whole humanity loves you and simply a huge completion happens in us he opens a new possibility in us he puts a new energy into us for us to manifest as reality it's like a initiation to us each time he says he loves us bhagwan beautifully says how a curtain which closes the room and makes it dark there is no sunlight in the room but the curtain looks bigger than the sun and it makes it dark but it's actually a simple curtain which can be moved and simply the whole rays of the sun can come in the beautiful thing is bhagwan says even a little bit opening there'll be a huge light coming in even a small opening of the curtain the whole sunlight will make the whole room bright even a little that is why bhagwan again and again says practicing the little completion will make our whole inner space into space of advaita space of completion that everything that exist is one and the same the consciousness which is manifested as reality into different dimensions different matter different energy different possibility but consciousness itself 
is the ultimate space, the space of Advaita, the space of oneness with the whole Paramashiva space in us, the ultimate space in us, the awareness in us, the observer in us. Such a powerful space is available for us to witness the whole, forgetting that we are constantly fighting the outer world, making outer world more prioritized to us, not give a listening to the inner space, how we exist, what is there to exist, why we should exist. To understand the inner space, we should first understand that the outer world, whatever it is cheating or whatever it's giving is only a reflection. It is not true. It's like you have a problem, but go and fix it in the mirror. If your hair is not fine, if you go and paint it in the mirror, how we will be, that's what we are doing. Constantly, the problem is in us, but we go on complaining, blaming everything in the outer world. If we understand how we exist inside us is a reflection of how we exist outside us, simply the whole change will shift. The cognition will shift our perception and reality. Again and again, Bhagavan says, if you're in the space of Advaita, just the oneness space, you will experience the ultimate, breaking the boredom and tiredness, being continuously in that such beautiful oneness space, you will enjoy yourself and be a joy to everybody around you, be a bliss to in the where you exist. Such a deep cognition of love, trust, and how even the little master opens up for you. It's the greatest blessing for you to manifest all the powers. That's why by aiming and fixing the self on Shakti, one and oneness with supreme power, the Advaita space with the supreme power, it will be the embodiment of that which is cognized. If you cognize the completion as the ultimate, and build, you will manifest all the powers. So with this powerful cognition, let's move to the Apta Pramana, verse 1 through 20. To see Lord Krishna playing his flute while take, taking the cows to pasture in the highest perfection of his eyes, hearing the song of Krishna flute, the peacock dances and all other creature become stunned with their see them. Looking at Krishna is like looking at picture perfect scene. It's such a beautiful scene how Krishna talks to animals. Let's go to the Atma Pramana Bhagwan's Leela. Shakti Pada Initiation. I wanted this intense purification today so that you will all be able to receive three Shakti Pada every day. And incorporate the power manifestation into your everyday life. Listen, your logic is a length dimension of your life means all calculations mathematics if you do this 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 you will get this much money and if you get this much this much money you will have this much money and if you get all this money you can get all these items whatever functions Logically, your logic can be very useful to develop a strategy to play with the logic of life. To get the maximum out of the logic of the life, your logic will be useful, no doubt. Your heart is the breadth dimension of the universe. Understand? Poorest people on the planet Earth are 
people who work only in logic forget the depth dimension heart if you calculate your whole life is just money or some luxury or something to be derived you are poorest person somewhere without squeezing sucking deriving you should be able to flow wherever without the strategy or plan to get something out to suck something out you flow your heart opens up your breath expands understand where your calculative strategic mind length relaxes a bit and heart celebrates your breath increases your ability to be alive increases understand sometimes the people with breath will look like a fools for the people of logic length because the cognition the reason why a logical person does something and reason why a hard person does something is totally different all the stupid logical third rate cunning dash 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 add whatever you want when a devotee is experiencing the breath dimension he is not in the mood of fleecing sucking strategically stealing he is in the mood of flowing pouring that is why he pours his whole fruit of his labor in those days the fruit of the whole day labor is milk and ghee he pours the milk on deity ghee on the fire means literally is pouring his life the fruit and result of his life he is pouring he is overflowing he is in ecstasy whatever he has made through his whole day he is pouring it on the deity because he is experiencing that overflowing breath dimension of his awakened by god and the deity represents god so that is the only way he is expressing is flowing a cheat extortion is can never understand the milk being offered on the deity milk being poured on the deity because he doesn't know this dimension of life he doesn't know this dimension of life they go on abuse oh there is so much poverty why the hindus are wasting blood as long as we were living as a hindu country we were the richest economy is 
you fellows entered into our country and destroyed the whole economy swindled us robbed swindled made everything instable understand when you are too other worldly you will have so much of energy this world economy will look too small and it look too casual too small they say if you travel more you will be more intelligent are we were not just traveling from country to country we were traveling from pla- plane to plane these fools are talking people from other countries as aliens for us the people from other planes are bandus the friends bandava shiva bhakta ascha swadesho bhuvanatrayam the three universes are my swadesha my country and i commit with you guys i will not leave the body till i start the travel to other planes as a regular lifestyle for hindus let this be video recorded let it be there is possible and i'll prove this now it look too big it is not this access to other planes makes lifestyle here too simple too simple this planes economy agriculture all that becomes too simple when you have access and knowledge of other planes that's the way our rishis did everything our di- rishis did what they did because so much of knowledge available from other planes access to other planes breath b r e a d t h not breathing breath i am talking about breath breath is another dimension of human being a person who has not tasted it can never understand a person who has never seen the ocean you cannot explain it to him you can't say it is a water 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 he may visualize 200 bottles oh water bottle water bottle water bottle water bottle water bottle no water bottle water bottle water bottle water bottle water bottle is not water 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 because this fool has seen water only in the bottle so the moment you say water 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 he may be visually in oh, front water bottle side water bottle side water bottle above water bottle below water bottle side water bottle all ten direction water bottle the fellow has not seen the ocean you can go on be describing he will never be able to grasp it he will never be able to grasp it even when i say i'll make this 
access to the other planes as reality it will be very difficult for even hindus to grasp it they may believe but difficult to grasp listen in our world actually all you need to travel to the other place is very simple just have a well built strong body through yoga and a clean stomach that's all you need you can be in that space easily you can be lifted understand your whole body can be lifted but even 10 gram toxins cannot be lifted the other day i was sitting in the mandala process one of my team member she was asking samji what such well built big big bodies you only look and they fly they are rolling on the ground jumping what kind of power it is i can lift even if you are 500 kg but i cannot lift even 5 gram toxins a clean stomach and body built by yoga is enough just like how arunagiri vishara took me to kailasa by holding the hand i can just hold your hand and take you to the kailasa beautiful atma pramana now let's go to the shakshi pramana bhagwan initiated disciple devotees all around the world manifesting the powers the nityan and the participant had a beautiful experience with the balasans now they will be sharing with us The first thing that we asked her to draw was the most famous painting in the world, which is Van Gogh Sunflowers. Of course, we didn't mention the name Van Gogh and we didn't mention sunflowers, and she immediately started to draw. And I'm going to show if you can zoom in on this picture. She started to draw the vase, and the vase is very distinctive. As you can see, it's on a table. and the sunflowers <laughs> the sunflowers she said they're yellow with big dark colored centers so you can see uh that it is in fact the the flowers are yellow with dark colored centers and she said they're much bigger than this so she'd already started drawing the smaller flowers but she said they're much bigger than this so she really got that uh dimension with that let's go to the instruction and for manifesting the powers of breath draw using the leaf to see the picture and kept it side and then the pratyaksha pramana pratyaksha pramana scientific studies what can be measured measuring the effects of being in enlightenment state vedic sciences have always maintained that consciousness is the very substance of space and time His divine holiness bhagwan paramahamsa nityananda has clearly defined the existence of 11 dimensions of consciousness as per his elucidation space can exist by itself on the other hand time can exist only in the presence of space but can still exist without other dimensions including the obvious ones depth length and breadth source from avatar shastra chapter 2 consciousness page 83 In quantum terms, thought too is energy. Every cell of our body produces thoughts in the form of signals, which may be electrical, chemical, or otherwise. These can be measured in TPS or thoughts per second. The normal TPS of the average human being can be hundreds of thou or thousands. Some thoughts are processed consciously, while others are processed unconsciously. A TPS of zero is the state of Advaita or enlightenment. Space is made up of strings of potential energy, which are in constant vibration, spanda, leading to the creation of virtual particles. This is a very basis of the Vedic truth of consciousness.
In the Avatar Shastra, Swamiji mentions quantum physicist Amit Goswami's article about entanglement between two people. Quantum physicist of Indian origin, Amit Goswami, made two people meditate together. They were separated in two chambers, one person in each. When one person had a light stroke at his eye, it caused the firing of certain frequency in the brain. Remarkably, at the same moment, the other person's brain also fired, even though he never saw the light. This proves that the energies of people intuitively affect each other. There are two kinds of movement in the world. One kind of movement is maximum speed limit with the speed of light. That's the kind of movement that is allowed in the domain that we call space and time. That's where matter moves, that's where things look diverse. But the other kind of domain is where the speed of communication is infinite. We call it non-local, that's the domain of potentiality. And if there is instant connection in that domain, then do you see it got to be one? If things are instantly interconnected, that interconnectedness is oneness. That is the oneness that mystics and spiritual teachers talk about. That is the oneness. So simply by recognizing that objects are possibilities, we are looking at a oneness. And then it's just a question of language. Question of language. What should we call this oneness? Whole brain activation studies were done on Nityananda Gurukul students. The Bender Gestalt test assesses the level of whole brain activation, the student's ability to see the big picture and recall the details of it. It is more than an IQ test. It was showing outstanding results on the memory ability of the Gurukul students. It is very unusual for students to remember such a high number of Gestalt forms. Each Gurukul student attended to the test card carefully and persistently transposed the Gestalt form. Remaining calm, cool, and collected, they initially approached each Gestalt form with a keen observation and analysis of the form and then exhibited a steady preservance attending eight minute details. Source, Avatar Shastra, Chapter 8, Third Eye Awakening, page 177. Charting Future Terrain with Higher Education. This article explores the role of contemplative practices within an emerging interdisciplinary area that are referred to as creativity and consciousness studies. Within the new area, consciousness is studied from an integral perspective that brings together insights from a range of wisdom traditions and modern science. Meditation is presented as an essential first person modality for investigating consciousness and formal and non-formal approaches to meditation and delineated to establish important guidelines for the introduction of meditation into an academic setting. The role of first person experience helps to develop new notions of rigor and interdisciplinary learning that can lead to an expanded educational experience, which can help to develop qualities such as mental clarity, inner calm, insights, compassion, and creativity. The article closes with reflections on the importance of expanding our approach to education in light of the demanding challenges and creative opportunities in today's world. Source, Meditation, Creativity, and Consciousness. Setting up for things of breadth dimension, drawing using the leaf, banyan leaf, a pen and a paper, nyananjan and a camera with the timestamp. Let's take a few minutes to set up the camera, download the timestamp, click on the video, ensure that time is shown on the screen vividly and clearly, make sure the camera is facing you the place is very bright and clean and it is quiet. Make sure all these are getting recorded very nicely. These moments are captured of Shakti's 
which will be amazing. So make it very clear and the person who's in the camera, the banyan leaf and the drawing that you're doing, capture it very clearly. Let's go to the guidelines. Start, turn on the video recording, apply the Nyananjan in your third eye and banyan leaf. Bring your awareness to your third eye. Breath dimension, difficult questions only. Do not take a simple drawing, take nice complicated drawing and just see through the banyan leaf. It'll show you very detailed drawing and draw the picture kept inside the book. If you don't have an acharya or a partner, decide to just go by a page and start drawing from a magazine or any books and look at, into the banyan leaf. Simply, as Bhagwan said, it will get revealed through your third eye. And whatever is revealed, start drawing. Once you're finished with the drawing, match with the diagram inside the book, the colors, the shapes, the details. If everything is matching, perfect manifestation happening. If some are correct and some are not, you have started manifesting and simply it will have more and more clarity as you manifest more powers. Start celebrating the manifesting for you to manifest more and more. Verify authentically these process and share the video with powerful cognition with others and listen to others' experience of manifestation. Power manifestation instructions. Let's sit straight, the head, neck and back in a straight line so that beautifully the Kundalini energy raises to the Agnya where the manifestation happens. Usually we are, our, our um, awareness is on Muladhara, Swadhishtana and Manipuraha where navel center, your below navel center. Here, bringing the awareness to your third eye and sitting straight will give us amazing possibility of power manifestation. Now let's understand few words that Bhagavan is repeatedly using. Shakti Pada, oneness, be unclutched, initiation. So here first we will see in Bhagavan's words what is Shakti Pada. Let me give an introduction about what is Shakti Pada process. Please understand. You would have seen or heard about how the chicken sits on the egg and hatches. Of course, in the modern countries, this does not happen. Machine sits on the egg and <laughs> our egg sits on the machine. In those days, originally when <laughs> hens and chicken were getting produced on the planet Earth, the hen used to sit on the chicken and hen used to sit on the egg and the <laughs> Chicken will come out of the egg. See, same way, Sadashiva sitting means the ultimate cosmic energy sitting on the individual soul and making the individual soul into cosmic energy is Shaktipada. Hen sitting on the egg and making the chicken happen same way you may think how come what is going on here that hen is only sitting just by the body heat of the hen and the egg is becoming chicken because no surgery is done and nothing goes inside it's only sitting same way it is just sitting it's only the presence, the Shakti Pada makes the individual soul into cosmic soul. Beautifully, Bhagavan explained Shakti Pada. 
how individual soul becomes cosmic soul and let's listen to initiation you see let me explain the initiation initiation is the process beyond your intellectual understanding the transmission of lamp happens now you understood something intellectually there is something which is not understood which can't be transmitted through the words that is transmitted that's what we call initiation sometime i tell you know, people but unless you are initiated the techniques do not create the result the reason is you do not grasp completely whatever is expressed through words initiation is like a it just transmits whatever need to be transmitted beyond logic and beyond words people ask me why to wear this bracelet or this mala and all those things this all will remind you why bracelet in the hand it will remind you before eating did you meditate it's a constant reminders before eating let you be reminded did you do the meditation that is why this bracelet that is why this mala that is why this external things sometime this external things does a big job of reminding you constantly that is why take the help of external things also nothing wrong people ask me why we can just be spiritual without having external things if you can really you are welcome but i don't think anybody who speaks in that way is successful i have never seen people becoming successful avoiding the external things just having internal things and it is just nice way of escaping from yourself <laughs> Beautifully, Bhagwan explained initiation. Let's listen to be unclutched. What is to be unclutched? The thoughts. Every thought is independent, illogical, unconnected, and unclutched. Because the gap between two thoughts is too small. The neutral space between the two two thoughts. is too small you think all the thoughts are connected and is in the shape form it is not by your very nature every thought is independent illogical unconnected and unclutched every between every thought you experience a neutral space when you change the gear whether you go from neutral to 1 or 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 or 3 to 4 or 4 to whatever whatever gears you may change but every time you have to come to the neutral space only then you can go to the next gear even if you want to go from 2 to 3 you have to come to the neutral space only then you can go to 3 same way between every thought you experience a neutral space you experience a neutral space between every thoughts between every thought that neutral space that silence is what i call peace or bliss the peace which exists the bliss which exists already in you between every thought the gap of the thought the gap between the thoughts that neutral space is the peace is the bliss when you understand you are unconnected independent illogical and unclutched by your very nature you will start experiencing the neutral space in you neutral space which exists in you you will start living from moment to moment in spontaneity 
we need to understand one more thing. This technique of being unclutched, it does miracles in your being. In the body level, or in the mental level, or in the being level. In every level, when you understand the truth, by your very nature, you are unclutched. The tremendous quantum transformation. You take a quantum jump. The transformation happens in quantum, not step by step. Just on jump. You take a quantum jump and experience the truth awakening in you. The oneness space is the most beautiful space that Bhagwan himself is explaining how we are ferocious beyond the tiredness and boredom we can experience the space of oneness and be unclutched. Oneness is not imagination. Oneness is not visualization. Oneness is not even just declaration. It is your existence. And an idea which is you is oneness. The idea which has become part of your very space which does not tire you or bore you by the passage of the time is oneness. Mahadeva says in the Agama, Sadashiva beautifully explains in the Agama, Kala, Yama cannot tire you or bring boredom to you if something becomes your space. Devi achieved the blissful state and union with Mahadeva on Shivaratri day because our space became oneness. Anything which brings tiredness or boredom has not yet become your space. If living in this body brings you tiredness and boredom, you are not going to be living in this body forever. When that becomes too much, you are going to drop it and move ahead. If you want to be in oneness forever, it should become part of your space. Means you should become ferocious with you and break this very tiredness and boredom. Only when you deal you with the ferociousness, you break the tiredness and boredom with that ferociousness you need to make oneness as your space. Anything stands as imagination in the length level, visualization in the breadth level, declaration in the depth level. If you open your time with ferociousness, it just sinks into space level. With this ferociousness, the time layer in you opens and the oneness from imagination to visualization to declaration, it becomes your space, the way of existence. The most important, Bhagavan says, being unclutched, understanding the Shakti Pada, the oneness space, and chanting the Mahavakya. The Mahavakya, the power of the Mahavakya pushes you into the higher states of consciousness. Here Bhagwan himself explains how we can experience the Shaktipada, raised higher consciousness through Mahavakya. It's one of the very important revelation by Sadashiva. All the electronic equipments work when the electrons are made to vibrate. That, that happens by the light. 
when the electricity is supplied, the light particle vibrates, the electronic equipment starts working. Just like that, the spiritual power and the umbilical cord connection, spiritual umbilical cord connection between you and me, it works with sound particle. For example, my integrity with the cosmos, Sadashiva, Maha Sadashiva, it reverberates in certain level of frequency. When you are integrated to me, you also start reverberating in the same frequency. If your integrity goes down, that is when you start connecting with me only as a manager or this organization head or your Purvashram father, mother. Your connection with me goes down to the lower level if the integrity gets reduced. I was wondering what is the way we can bring people to the higher integrity immediately and the feeling connection, so they start manifesting the powers, they start staying in the space of Sadashivatva. Sadashiva revealed a beautiful sound. I can tell you, this is like a password. At any point, if you are not able to bring yourself to oneness, you are a little shaken, disturbed, or for some reason, you are not able to bring yourself to oneness. This is like a password. You type whether your mind feels connected or not, the energy will start flowing in you beyond the depth dimension. You see, all mind oscillation, restlessness, all mental idea based feeling connected or not feeling connected is only length, breadth, depth level, not in the space level. But this sound will straight infuse energy from the space level. Like for example, if the power goes off, automatically the generator will get switched on and the power supply will be going on. So end result will not be lost. Whether government power supply or the generator power supply, end result will not be stopped. So whenever you feel little that oneness is, you are not catching it, just feed this password. Immediately the oneness will open up and you will start manifesting the powers, energy and the whole space will shift. It is directly from Sadashiva. It's a beautiful sound. I don't even want to say it's a mantra. It is not even a mantra because there is no meaning in it. You can't derive a meaning for it. It just flashed like a password for all the initiations I am giving. One single password for all the initiations I am giving. And the initiations I gave, I am giving, I will be giving for all that. This is like one password. Don't even repeat like a mantra. Just feed like a password and it will just open up. Your whole being will open up. Listen carefully. It starts with the vibration Oh. Listen and then repeat. Om. Very deep. Om. Nityananda. Nityananda. Maha. Sadashivu. So Bhagavan gave beautiful explanation of how you can be in Shaktipada. Visualize Paramashiva who has come down as Bhagavan Nityananda Paramashivam from Kailasha. Remembering Paramashiva in your third eye again and again bringing your awareness to your third eye simply makes you manifest powers. Absolute unclutching. How Bhagavan said the neutral zone, nothing ever touches the screen. Like same way, the movie does not touch the screen, whether it is happening in ferocious 
or any soft, beautiful, nothing touches the screen. Be unclutched like the screen. And to experience the state of Paramashiva, your inner space being completely unclutched. Complete completion to experience the space of Paramashiva. Inside us, the complete completion happens when we are in tune with Paramashiva. That everything is redundant and irrelevant. The essence of completion is irrelevant. Nothing matters in your life. Because everything is complete completion. Oneness with Paramashiva. How Bhagavan said in ferocious breaking the boredom and tiredness, just being in the space of oneness with Paramashiva to manifest the powers of Paramashiva. Tyaga as Paramashiva is your only strength. Now declaring complete integrity with Bhagavan to experience the being of Paramashiva. How Bhagavan said, Chanting the Mahavakya raises your frequency and that is your only strength to manifest any reality. Being in this beautiful space of Paramashiva, you can experience such a beautiful space, state, powers and becoming the being of Paramashiva, manifesting whatever you want. Now, you will be manifesting the powers, watching the oneness capsule and chanting the Mahavakya Om Nityananda Paramashivoham. We'll be playing the Mahavakya and the oneness capsule for you to manifest powers. At end of the Mahavakya, you can start with the verification and sharing and causing. Thank you. Om Yanam <laughs> Yanam Paramashi Hum Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eye. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow. Manifest the power in all of us. Third Yanam <laughs> Param <laughs> Yanam 
Let Paramashiva today manifest in all our third days. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eyes. Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour. Let the Varni open up. Manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third action. Om Om 
Let Paramashiva's third eye manifest in all our third eyes. Let the Amrita pour, let the Varni open up, manifest in all of us. Let Paramashiva overflow, manifest the power in all of our third eyes. Om Jnanam Paramashivam Om Jnanam Paramashivam Om Yanam <laughs> Verification process for breath dimension, drawing the picture inside using the banyan leaf. Verify that no video editing is done on Shakti Avishkarna power manifestation video. Verify video is not stopped or restarted in process of manifestation. All videos should be verified with timestamp. All videos should have the wide angle view that no other guidance is given during the pro process. No books or electronic items or Bluetooth near you. Do not tamper the drawing by showing the picture or trying to give clues completely prohibited. Do not prepare the questions, um, answers in front of them. If you do not give everyone the same diagram, if you have a larger group, divide them into Nitya and Ananda. Alternatively, they can sit and you can give them the different pages for them to draw the diagrams and give very complex diagrams as questions, not as simple ones so that you know you have manifested the powers. Authentically, the diagram should match exactly by any common person and not to interpret these diagrams and try to fix it with the results. It has to simply ma match the results and you can start manifesting all these powers. Thank you for participating in this power manifestation. Beautiful. We are at the end of the power manifestation, but most important part of the power manifestation. Here, we are going to share all that you have manifested with the social media groups. Here we have Sri Kalasha Courtyard Manifesting Power Groups. Thousands of people are part of that. And you can share there and you can post your powerful cognition and the videos. The link is tinyurl.com slash power manifestation. 
it is at the left corner of the page you can click on it and you can post your beautiful experience in the power manifestation group why sharing and causing is very important part of power manifestation bhagwan beautifully exp explains that sharing is pulling us out of delusion and causing is liberating us we are the ones who need to start experiencing the higher states of reality how we need to exist beautifully bhagwan explains when you are sharing with others the ultimate beautiful multidimensional logic your brain rewires into the higher space of consciousness the thurya tita state again and again when you experience even a little bit you share with the world your experience becomes reality same thing when you cause others to come and get initiated for higher reality you are caused into the higher purpose the ultimate reality bhagwan says extreme causing extreme power manifestation is extreme causing so beautifully he explains how we our strength is declared on parameshiva the power manifestation happens exactly in tune to that and sharing with the world continuously reiterating ourselves the experience that we had from the powerful cognition and manifesting the space of parameshiva the state of parameshiva the beings of parameshiva we become parameshiva go on sharing and causing which is the most important part of how you have experience your reality when you go to a temple we pray and we see that beautiful experience happen in us and then share with the world that how amazing the temple experience has manifested as your reality same way when you manifest powers when you share with the world it becomes more and more the depth cognition of you and you will be experiencing more powers even if you are manifested very small it does not matter the quantity bhagwan says the quality is important if it is authentic please go ahead and share with the world do not doubt have self doubt self denial self hatred come and block anything experience the ultimate in deep seeking and gratitude bhagwan manifest in you with a deep prayer that asking bhagwan to make this reality as your existential reality with that let's end with the purna mantra thanking bhagwan for all these great experience we have come to the end of the pa manifestation course and we end with the purna mantra om purna mada purna midam purna purna madashyate purnasya purna mataya purna meva avashishyate om shanti 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 hi हरि ओम तत्सत सर्वं भगवते श्री नित्यानंद परमेश्वरं पादुका अर्पणमस्तु ओम नित्यानंदम थैंक यू फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन द ज्ञान पद्धति नित्यानंद ज्ञान पद्धति कोर्स प्लीज गो हेड एंड सेलेक्ट मोर पा मैनिफेस्टेशन एंड एवरीडे एक्सपीरियंस द अल्टीमेट रियलिटी फॉर योरसेल्फ नित्यानंद ओम नित्यानंद परम शिवोहम <laughs>